Hey, what's going on, music community? Cassette Mayhem. Um, this is music I'm playing in the background. This is the muted pitch. So this is a local band here in Fredericton. This is uh, Trevor Cahoot. I'm, I'm good, really good friends with Trevor. Uh, Jason Freaks. Uh, I can't remember the drummer name, but uh, Trevor's a really, really good friend of mine. We've been good friends for the last 10 years. This is their new album. So I'm playing in the background. Um, anyways, I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I haven't shot a video of seems to be like forever. But um, anyway, I guess this video here, I was thinking of a lot of, a lot of uh, going through my music library and, and CDs and, and stuff like that. And, and was wondering, you know, when do I stop buying music? Uh, I think I had, I think I talked about this before and I, I never, this, my little music room here, I'm never in here to listen to CDs much anymore. I'm still buying new music and never playing it. Uh, weekends, I'm always tied up, I'm busy. Summertime, I'm gonna be at the lake. And when I'm at the lake, I got a really good, a really good, uh, these, these are called Marley speakers. They're Bluetooth, they sound absolutely amazing. So I have this at the lake, because obviously I'm not gonna bring CDs to the lake. So that's what I'm listening to a lot of music on. Um, so I guess, uh, yeah, it's, it's I, I'm at a point in my life now is where, where do I stop buying music? Uh, I know we're all collectors and we buy and we buy and we buy. There has to be a point where we either slow down, stop buying, you know what I mean? Like, I've, so this time last year, I probably had purchased 20 CDs, let's say. So far this year, I did get a couple, but I think I'm starting to ease up a little more on my buying because I'm buying new CDs and I'm buying new cassettes or secondhand cassettes but I'm really never listening to them. I'm buying all this music, but never listening to them. Um, especially with the warmer weather now, like for me to sit down here in my music room listening to music, it's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna be playing everything right off my phone, which is what I do with the lake. I, I play all my music through my Bluetooth, sounds amazing. And then um, when I'm in the car, I'm on Bluetooth. So I never really sit and have a chance to listen to all this music. So I guess for me is, what are your thoughts on music buying right now? Like, cause the, the problem is with a lot of the music, even from last year, you know, I think I bought over, I think I had right around 25 new releases from last year. The year before, I think I had about, tw like I'm buying all this music, but there's just so much music. I'm not really playing a whole lot of it. Like. Like a prime example would be like, let's take this one right here. Uh, the Havoc album came out two years ago, I think, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Um, man, I haven't played this probably since 2020, since I got it. Uh, I know after I got it, I did play it a bunch of times, but I haven't played that in probably over a year. So I guess I keep thinking about, you buy so much music, that when do you get actually a chance to, to replay it again? We buy new releases and we may not play them again for a few months. Could be a few years. Like I have music in my library. I go through it every day and I sort of look and look and look. There's CDs that I haven't played in so long. Um, I've been trying to go back and really pick some of those CDs and playing them, but I just, I guess for 2022, this was going to be the year that I was going to focus a little bit more on not buying so much only because there's so much music out now. It's just, when do I get a chance to, I'll, okay, I can buy it tomorrow, play it, but I might not play it for a while. So I guess for me right now, I guess you can let me know what you, what you think 
is when are you going to slow down? When are you going to stop buying? When are you going to not buy anymore? When do you say, you know something, I've got enough music to last me a lifetime. I'm, I've got enough music on my phone that I could listen to anything I wanted to any time of the day. And I know it's not the same. It's just definitely not the same. I love having original copies. Um, the other thing I was going to focus on this year too was buying a lot more cassettes, which I have. I think I've probably bought maybe 15 cassettes so far this year. And I have bought some new releases so far this year, but I'm just cutting way back on buying, way back on buying because again, I've just got so much music now that I just don't know when I'm gonna have a chance to listen to it all. And I feel so guilty that I buy music and then I buy another release. I may play this one a hundred times, but I might, I haven't played this one in like three months, right? So. Anyway, it's just one of those things I've been thinking about. This was going to be the year I was going to slow down my buying. And so far this year, I have slowed down a little bit. I bought a, I say that and then I went and bought a new CD today. I bought uh, Cannibal Corpse, Eating Back to Life, because I got a really good deal on it. And it's one of the Cannibal Corpse I didn't have on my catalog. And because I looked for it, but every every time I went to buy it, it's been like 28, 33, 40. It's been ex stupid expensive. So I found a copy today and it was a really good deal. I was like, yes, I'm pulling the trigger on it. But but uh, anyway, I, again, let me know what, you, what you're gonna do. Are you gonna slow down? Are you gonna keep buying? Uh, are you only gonna focus on new releases? Are you just gonna focus on nothing's gonna change? I'm kinda gonna keep on buy, buy, buy. Like I still have stacks, I still have CDs over there that's, I haven't even, I haven't even played yet. So. I'll show some of the ones I picked up so far this year, and uh, you can let me know what you think. Uh, this is uh, Ice War. This is the third CD I got from these guys. The other two, again, I buy them, shove them in my library. I just haven't went back and played them since since the day I got them, right? So, uh, anyway, um, Ice War. I think some of you might be familiar with that band. This is a band out of... Uh, Sweden, I do believe. I've only played it once. Straight up death metal. Uh, very good band. Uh, Mark G with a C. I think you'd really dig these guys. Uh, name of the album's called Void. Coffin Creep. This is a slabber. Just straight up metal. Opalictic, uh Diary. Very good album. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. Uh, Carpet DM. Uh, the new sax, and I think we all got this. Again, really, really good album. So what I'm showing is just some of the albums I picked up so far this year. And I don't know how much, how many more I'm gonna buy. Uh, the new releases are coming out. I'm obviously gonna buy them. The new Destruction. Um, I'm really still on the fence with this album. I played it a couple times. Musically, I think it's amazing. The vocals, I'm not sold on. I, I don't know, maybe it's just in time it'll wear on me right now uh so anyway the new destruction um the album that i i bet you i've played this album 200 times since i've got it uh spillway is my favorite song this is just an absolutely amazing this could be easily a number one album for me for 2022 uh it's that good i absolutely love it um this was a new one i just played this yesterday for anybody who follows me on instagram this is a uh, zombie uh, attack. It's called Bonded by a Beer. Straight up, almost punkish thrash, sort of like municipal waste, suicidal tendencies, that style. Very good album. And then I bought this. I know you probably won't see that because of the glare, but anyway, it was the, the Atlantic Years for Overkill. Um, and again, it comes in just... You know what I mean? It's got all the CDs in it. Um, I got it because it was a very good deal and I couldn't pass it up. And I thought, you know something? Some of these albums, I'm not big on buying them because I find uh, some of them sound quality isn't great. I got the Testament one because it was a good deal. I just didn't find the sound quality really all that great. So anyway, that's, that's some of the new albums that I got this year. 
And right now I've got a couple more in a shopping cart on Amazon and I've got another one on eBay coming to Cannibal Corpse. And every day I'm on a cassette website that I look at cassettes every day and I always wonder to myself, Danny, stop buying, stop buying, stop buying because you've got too much music now and you're not playing everything that you're buying. You're, you're buying it, but you're not playing it. Um, I bought this one a few weeks ago, even though I've already got it, but this one uh, still sealed, not open. Three bucks, three dollars. I, I mean, I can't pass it up, right? Three bucks. So anyway, um, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, again, I'm not making a lot of videos anymore. Uh, I'm hardly on YouTube, hardly watching YouTube anymore, just for the simple fact is, time right now is just not on my side, and it won't be now until maybe the fall because summertime comes and then I'm at the lake and then I, I'm just among the missing, right? So, again, let me know what you think. Are you going to keep buying and slow down a little bit? Uh, you know, just, just, just let me know. I'm kind of curious to see where everybody else is and... Uh, Maybe I'm not the only one going through this. Maybe maybe there's other people, like I see other people with massive, massive collections and which are just phenomenal, but when's a lot, when are you ever gonna play, when are you ever gonna pull this, this CD or vinyl out? You may not play it again for another five years. So I guess for me, that's where I'm, that's where I'm at. With all this music that I've got, man, I just don't know when I'm gonna be able to get back to it and really just sit and listen and listen, but anyway. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, let me know what you think, what your thoughts are, and uh, we'll go from there. Again, stay metal. Peace out.